my dears and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up a package that I have been dying to open with you guys. Holding something that I have been wanting for a few months now. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty big. How big? Da ding And now how big is this exactly? I'm so excited to open this box because I have been looking for a brand new light box forever and I found light pads instead of light boxes. Light boxes are a lot thicker, light pads are super thin, they use LED lights, they're supposed to be brighter and more efficient than light boxes which are kind of old school. My dad actually made me one and I love it and I've been using it for years and years and years but it is definitely time to upgrade just a little bit. I make comics for a living. I am the creator of the series Sacred, which is available in stores. Manga paper and comic paper are pretty big, so they don't always fit on most light boxes and light pads. So I was searching for one that was a lot bigger and I found a really big one that I believe will be the perfect size for my papers. And I found it on Amazon and I wasn't too sure whether or not to try it out. I don't like to shop for art supplies online unless I've seen it in person. So I just put it in my shopping cart and just let it sit there. But then the company actually randomly contacted me via email and asked me if I would review their light pad and I was like, yes. <laughs> so I was super, super hyped. No, they did not pay me to make this video. No, it is not a sponsored video, but they did send me the light pad, which I am very, very, very grateful for. But this will be a 100% honest review. I will not, will not recommend products that I do not love and really believe in on this channel. So if you see me recommending products, it's because I love it and I use it and I want you to have the best. But again, I was not paid to make this video, but they did send me the light pad. So I hope you guys will have fun unboxing this with me. I've been super excited to try this out with you guys. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good because the pictures look so nice and because it would be wonderful to have a light pad this big and this perfect for my work. So, <laughs> so let's open it together. I can finally open this freaking box. I have been waiting so long. Ah. Look at it. Okay, I cannot freaking wait. Okay, just super bright lighting. Let's see about that. <laughs> Adjustable illumination. Easily fits an A2 sheet. Conventional touch control. Light and sleek in design. And for those of you who do not know what an A2 sheet is or how big that is, here are the measurements. So it's supposed to be that it has different levels of brightness. So you can adjust it to be really really bright or just a little dim depending on what you want it's supposed to be really bright without hurting your eyes supposedly on the website it has some type of special technology that protects your eyes which is good because nobody wants to lose their vision while using a light box that's like the opposite of what an artist wants um they show some pictures here of how you can use it we have professional copy in drawings and paintings Animation teaching as an x-ray viewer in hospitals, okay, and as a tracing board for architects, cartoonists, designers, artists, etc. So apparently, if you're a doctor, you can use this too. So, <laughs> ah, okay, now mama's excited. A beautiful size, like don't even... Holy crap, it's so thin and beautiful, girl, yes! <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful! Okay, so I wanted to put down some foam to protect the surface of the light box because I wanted to show you guys the power supply, aka the plug. I want to make sure they sent us the appropriate one and lo and behold, it is indeed the <laughs> appropriate plug for America. So there it is. So where you plug it in is right there besides the power button. Just very easily insert. 
All right, my YouTube babies, now it's time for some experiments to test out the quality and the strength of this light pad. I wanted to test out three different types of papers with three different types of thicknesses just to see how bright and powerful this light pad actually is. Paper number one, I wanted to try out some computer paper. Computer paper is really basic, inexpensive, and very thin, and is what I usually do all of my sketches on before I trace them onto the paper I actually want to use. Paper number two is manuscript paper, which is thicker than computer paper and larger than computer paper, and is what I use every day for work to create my publication. This is also a page from my published series, by the way. And paper number three is Bristol paper, which is super thick, super sturdy. Uh, it's almost board-like. And one of my favorite papers to use to create illustrations on. So we'll be stacking them on top of each other on the light pad and testing whether or not we can see my light sketches through all the different types of papers and see just how bright the light pad actually goes and that that will make a difference with my thicker types of paper. I've yet to find a light pad or a light box that lives up to my needs, so let's see what happens. This better work, I'm just saying. Okay, for experiment number one, I'm gonna lay down one of my pencil sketches that I drew on computer paper and lay a sheet of computer paper on top of it just for the sake of the experiment. So let's turn it on. Absolutely perfect. You can see all of the freaking details so perfectly through it. Now let's replace that with a thicker paper, like my manuscript paper, which I use for my comics. Absolutely perfect. Now you're supposed to be able to up the brightness, so girl, let's do that. Okay, is it dimming? Okay, it's dimming. And let's um, hold the power button again. And oh, that is bright and beautiful. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay, okay. But the ultimate experiment, okay? Will I be able to see my sketch through Bristol paper, which is super thick? Wow, you can really 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 see the details through that let's turn off the lights for the ultimate effect oh yeah all the details are super clear even though this is like super super thick paper oh that's so perfect oh my god i can't wait to freaking use this what's the matter baby do you not like all my experiments do you wanna stop recording the light pad did super, super freaking well. However, how will it do if we were to stack two sheets of super thick Bristol paper on top of each other? Hmm? That's like the ultimate test. Two sheets of Bristol paper at the light pad's highest brightness. Will I be able to see my illustration perfectly enough to trace it, boo-boo? What do you think, baby? We'll have to find out by watching the footage of when my fiance used the light pad. Turn it right, on. Here goes. <gasps> Holy sh! That's perfect. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my god, girl, yes. This is two pieces of Bristol paper, thick as paper. Oh my god, Mark, no seriously, you could freaking see everything. Oh, I love it. You know, you're supposed to be able to and adjust. Even, oh wow, look, it even has measurements. Yeah. Sure, but you're supposed to be able to adjust the, the um, lighting so it gets like really, really bright. Let me see how. I'm not really sure how to do that though. Oh my god, it's dimming. What? <gasps> That's amazing. Holy crap. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, seriously though. This is, and look at how thin it is. Freak. And it's light, it's amazing. Well, oh my gosh. Start drawing. Oh, <laughs> it's so perfect. I cannot believe it. This is the first I've ever seen that was big enough to hold one of my manuscript papers. Mochi, I'm shook. I am shook. It. I cannot believe it. <laughs> you don't even care. That's nice. That's nice to know. And my son gives no fucks. Oh well, I got this now. Would I recommend this light pad? 
Uh, were you not watching the video? Yes, absolutely. It is the A2 size. If you want the light pad, I have the links to it down there in the description box below. It'll take you to Amazon where you can find this. I also have different sizes of the same brand light pad down there in the description box below along with how much they cost. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> so until next time guys, please take care. God bless and do not be afraid to nerd out. Take care guys. <laughs>